Hello, this is Ronan Amog. In this screencast, I'm going to show how to change uh, attributes or properties in an open XML Word document. <laughs> Let's see the document I prepared here. This is a document containing HR data. It looks like this. Let's see the template. We have personal numbers, name, the dates, the start, and a one table, and uh, two controls for, uh, for text. We will we see later what we do with this. Close it. And we see that we have in the table data from the PA0008. We've got here about four fields that I've chosen here. And we have some data for the upper fields in here, the name, dates, and uh, we see also the, the sections that we've chosen, uh, our hours alert and salary alert. Okay, let's run a program Let's run a program that I prepared to select the data and then generates the Word documents. I have uh, a variant ready, just the personal numbers and I have also here two uh, parameters that I use it as filters uh, to see if I will change the data in the cells of the table and uh, hide or unhide the text. Let's run it and we see how it works. Let's say uh, that I put in the work hours, I put uh, 100 work hours and your salary I'll put also 100. <coughs> Let's run it and we see, we see what's happened. Okay, the documents are generated, it's done, and we'll take one of the documents, we see what's happened here. Well, we see that the data on the upper fields is filled with the name and the dates, personal numbers, and then we see the table that we saw before in the, in the template, and we see that um, if we have this filter, and it does make the filter uh, true. So it changed the properties of these cells. Look in here, it changed the properties of the work hours and the annual salary. Because we say that if it's bigger than 100 and also this one is bigger than 100, and that's what we see, so we see them. And then, and then, we see the remarks here that the first one is you have too much working hours and blah, blah, blah. This is because we have here that the field is more than 100, what we put as a parameter. Also, then your salary, over here your annual salary is too high. <coughs> let's, let's delete these documents. And we run the program again, and now um, I want to see, maybe I put here 300 work hours as a parameter, and uh, I, will, I will stay with this parameter for the annual salary. Let's run it. Now we take sample. We see what's happened. See what's happened. It's it's lower than 300, so nothing happened with uh, the properties of this cell, the work hour cell. But the annual salary cell uh, changed its properties, and we've got only one remark here. Your annual salary is too high. We don't have the remark of the working hours, because, because the working hours is not... Um, is, uh, is not uh, bigger than 300, so nothing happened here. Just for 
this one, the annual salary. Let's do some trick with the annual salary also. We go again to the program. Let's delete the files first. It can uh, also uh, delete the files by itself, but I want to see if it's clear. So we go again to the program, and in the annual salary, we put a big, big number like this one. Let's see what's happened. Too long. Okay. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Okay. Something happened here. Oh, sorry. I didn't push the right button. It happens sometimes. So we have new files. Let's see one of them. Now, not any of the fields that were selected by the by the parameter have the right uh, the right answer so this one is is uh, lower than the parameter and this one also so nothing happened no uh, new paragraph is done uh, because of the of the value and it stays as as it was okay and uh, no properties or attribute changes were happened. Let's see another one. It's the same. Now, let's run again and put both of them, both of them. Let's not put any parameter here. So it should take everything, I think, if I know SQL good. Okay, let's see if I know. First, I will delete the files and I will rerun the program okay that's what happened we see that we've changed uh, the size the size of the the size of the of the cell uh, um, of yes of the cell and uh, we've changed here, we've changed the um, paragraph also, we've changed the uh, format, we've changed the, the, uh, the colors, and we have the two remarks here as it should be. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. You can watch more videos on www open xml for sap.com thank you very much